One thing I say about the Olympics is, it's very special. I could remember my first time ever competing in 1993 in um, San Jose, California. It was the experience of a lifetime. I was very nervous, I was overwhelmed. So many kids, different uniforms, different jersey colors. Growing up, it was always my goal to be the fastest kid in school. I never made it to the national level until I was a senior in high school. I got to go to Los Angeles and participate at the Junior Olympics during the Olympic trials in 1984. It was a great experience for me. It was a, certainly a lasting memory. I'll never forget those Junior Olympics. Junior Olympic Nationals are filled with a fantastic variety of athletes. Kids who are the first accomplished athletes in their families and those who have tremendous pedigree, like Shyelle Johnson, daughter of NFL great Chad Johnson. My daughter, her running has been a surprise. I was one who was not too fond of track. I was always attracted to football and soccer. So I had no idea that she would have come to this point where she is now. The leader is Shyelle Johnson. She ran a 56 at the track meet, and I'm looking around, everybody's oohing and on. I'm like, okay, why are y'all so excited? So her coach uses football and that. He was like, remember you had a game, you had like seven catches for 260 yards. That was equivalent to her at 12 year old running a 400. It's fun to watch these kids out here compete at the Junior Olympics there. Here, some of them for the very first time, but what I really enjoy about this event probably more than anything else is seeing the family come together and support these kids. People have traveled as far away as, as Boston and California to be here. Maybe it's just for one race. They come all that way just to see their kid run in one single race. Being able to take kids to the highest levels to compete with kids in their age group is, is really awesome. And it's, I think it's important for growth and really understanding what competing is going to be like on the big stage if that's something they want to do. Junior Olympic Nationals is an opportunity, a chance to experience, a chance to compete. But for some kids, being fast or strong alone is not enough. It costs money to travel from home to the event. And that was an issue for four talented eight-year-old girls from Baltimore, Maryland, and their small Turbo Track Club. Last year was our first season. I'm a PE teacher, and I work at an elementary school. And I realized, you know, doing drills at the, in my PE class, I'm like, these girls are pretty fast. <laughs> I'm starting to track team. So he and his brother Johnny formed the Turbo Track Club. I just recognized track is fun, and I kept on asking my mother, can I like keep on going to track practice? I think we were going to make the national because our coach said we could be the fastest team in Baltimore. And they were. And in the regional meet in North Carolina, they burst onto the scene, finishing top three in the 4x100 and the 4x400 relays. Turbo went second at 106.73. It was really exciting. It was like, wow, we did it. You know, all the hard work, all the hard practices. To see us qualify to Nashville, it really, it really makes me proud. So it was like a, yay, we made it to Nationals. Then it was like a, okay, how are we gonna get there? We had a hard time, you know, getting the money together for regionals. It wasn't as expensive as Nationals, but it was still, it was kind of a dent in our pockets. We were scared, but we knew that we was going to do all that we can do to get them here. I was like, well, how about we just do a GoFundMe? So we started that same day, and by that night, we got to like 1,800. So we had practice about 2 o'clock. In the practice around 4, um, the, the, the parent that started the GoFundMe page, he said, somebody's donated $2,200. We're like, $2,200? Like, yeah. Chad Johnson? I'm like, Chad Johnson? <laughs> I know exactly who that is. <laughs> that I gotta be Ocho Cinco. 
And my brother was like, I think maybe Chad Johnson the real Chad Johnson. I'm like, are you serious? Like, how do you, how do you find his page? Like, how do you know anything about it? It happened to scroll across my timeline. I'm very random in my acts of kindness. And at that time, it had a little spare change. So I was like, you know, and being that it was track, Junior Olympics, my daughter, it just, it, it made sense at the time. It was like really just outstanding to know that, whoa, like somebody see, like somebody see our hard work. He really cares, you know, like he didn't have a daughter, you know, and I guess he see what it takes. I got a, a lot of direct messages on Instagram, on Twitter, and I didn't really need a thank you. Just allowing those kids the opportunity to get here and run. They need to be here and enjoy it. Yeah. I probably smiled for a whole day straight. <laughs> because we were just so excited that like, wow, we're actually going to Nationals. It's a big deal. They still hype now. We can't get them to calm down. So they just excited right now. The money was so much of a blessing. Because without it, we wouldn't have been there, honestly. The girls from Turbo, the daughters of elite athletes, the sons of small towns and big cities, they all made it to Kansas with the opportunity to compete. Chad Johnson's daughter became a national champion. The girls from Turbo didn't make the finals, yet all got an unforgettable experience. We all need to take an opportunity to support youth athletics any chance that we get. So to see Chad Johnson embrace the sport of track and field and really give them an opportunity to come and experience something really fantastic probably means more to those kids uh, than, than anyone can really describe. It's for the kids, man. That experience, these are, these are memories they'll never forget. So just, just being able to help and be a blessing was, was, was really dope. Who you remember this 20 years from now? I might be long and gone, but they remember that time they were able to come and experience Junior Olympics in Kansas.